Well, hello from the happy place. We woke up this morning at Elk Meadows RV Resort. Resort or park? Park. And, uh, you know, the dogs did their morning thing and we opened up the great big picture window uh, blind and we got this. Yep, that is the view from the window this morning as we drink a cup of coffee. That just doesn't suck at all. So we're going to spend the weekend up here and uh, just enjoy it. Don't know uh, what the weekend's going to have to offer, but it's going to be a good one. If that's what we get to see all day. Meadows RV Park. Yeah, I'm taking the dogs for a little walk this morning. And one of the features of this park is they do have these cabins. And there's another one right here behind me. Right there. They're really nice. Uh, full, full of everything in there. Really nice park so far. Well, we're just kind of walking around. So most of the sites here are full hookup, but there are a couple that, that are not full hookup. So there is a dump station here available. Pretty nice. Everything's nice and clean. Just came out of the office. The folks are really friendly. And uh, boy, I tell you what, the, the more we see of this park, the more we're coming back. We know we're definitely coming back to this place. Um, these are kind of little sites, but uh, Site 56 actually has five sites in one. And you pull through and it kind of branches out. So if you had a group, <clears throat> if you had a group that you, you were camping with, that'd be great. I got something on the lens. Okay, so we're uh, out on a nature trail. 
and I don't know if you can see it, but right behind me here, see if I can focus that. Now that's Mount Adams back there. Anyway, beautiful trails up here for hiking. Uh, we're following right along a creek over here. Having a really good time. We got uh, got a couple couples up here, and chilly morning. It's about uh, 45 degrees or so. Not too bad, but just a really, really nice, nice place to hike and spend out in the outdoors. Kind of why we come RVing. I'll show you the gang up here. That is Mount Adams. The fall colors are absolutely beautiful today. Nice little observation deck here. To a stunning view of the mountain right there. So we talked a little bit in a video uh, last week about um, you know things that we consider when we're planning on going on our RV trips and one of the things was destination and while there's not you know there's there's nothing there's no great amusement park or Great Lake or anything here at Elk Meadows uh, the hiking trails are nice and it kind of lends itself to what we typically do when we're RVing, which is a whole lot of relaxing, just getting out of town and enjoying, you know, being with friends and, and hanging out. And it's always a bonus when you get a beautiful mountain like we've got today and these great hiking trails, hiking along this creek. We're kind of climbing right now, so I don't know where we're heading. Um, I think we're heading back toward Trout Lake, but this valley that's that runs right, right back here, um, apparently it was part of a volcanic uh, mudslide, you know, thousands of years ago. So it's always fun to, this hiking trail has all these reader boards uh, talking about habitat, etc. There's one right here. Spotted frogs. And the last one discussed the mudslide uh, that happened because of the eruptions. And this whole Cascade Range, it's all volcanoes. Uh, all the way up from Mount Rainier, all the way down to Southern Oregon. And in particular, the seven mountains of the Cascades. Uh, Mount Hood being an active volcano. Uh, you know, it's dormant, but it's, it's still you doing <clears throat> so anyway we're enjoying this beautiful hike Sadie come on come on Sadie Sadie come 
Come on. Let's go. Uh, there's something that she's smelling over there that... Go get her, Chunk. No, a Chunk will go over there and just start smelling too. Come on. Come on, guys. Come on, Sage. Come on, we're going. Oh. And here she comes. And there's Chuck. The crazy part about Sadie <laughs> is you notice that she's got a leash on and nobody's holding on to it. When uh, she has the leash on, she thinks somebody's holding on to it so she won't run. But she'll walk right along with us dragging her leash along. So <laughs> she's, she's crazy that way. Anyway, we're going to continue to hike and uh, We'll show you something cool when we see it. gonna cry when you're gone Where will you go? Won't you miss the ones you know? I'll be here, hanging on, waiting for your call Seems like time As a wave passing by Leave a mark in our mark so I just got up from a really nice nap, kind of became a overcast day and we got back from our little hike and had lunch, took a little nap. So now um, we're going to be going probably over to Bob and Darla's for uh, dinner. So I thought I'd make some dessert. We're going to make some Betty Crocker brittle. So I thought I'd share that with you real quick. It's pretty simple. You just gre grease up a pan, put the brittle on it, let it cook for oh, about 20, 25 minutes, and boom. Now, when you're cooking with your uh, trailer stove, you know, sometimes the uh, temperatures vary and whatnot, so just, just keep an eye on it. Sometimes you have to cook things just a little bit longer. So we'll show you how we do that.
All right, so 25 minutes. Um, pulled it out and just letting it cool for about a half hour, maybe an hour. Pan's still pretty hot. A uh, couple lessons learned. This is real thin. I'm hoping it thickens up a little bit. Um, but it says an 8x8 eight eight pan, and this is a 9 by 13 so probably spread it a little too thin but it looks like it's gonna work it's got good flavor peanuts taste good anyway we'll see how it turns out well it's Sunday morning and uh, got up and there's frost on the meadow It's gorgeous. But it's cold. And uh, interesting, went to flush the toilet this morning and uh, no water. I came outside and our hose is frozen. So we're going to try to crunch that up a little bit, see what happens. Okay, well. Um, the spigot is absolutely frozen so i disconnected the hose and my water filter is frozen uh, the good news is my hose is not frozen and water came trickling out of our faucets which means there's no freezing in the line because it was pushing water through that's the least of my concerns actually um you know that'll thaw out and we're just going to open up the valve so that it releases when it does thaw. But it's okay. So, here we are at Elk Meadows. Luckily, it's Sunday. We really don't need water. Uh, we did all of our cleaning up yesterday, so far as dishes go. The only thing we're going to have dirty is our coffee cups, and, and that'll be fine. Uh, thoughts on Elk Meadows RV Park. Love it. Uh, will we come back? Absolutely. Especially if we could get these premium sites that are backed up against this meadow here. Uh, it's th This is really a beautiful, beautiful location. Uh, for the price that you pay uh, for, at this park, it, it's definitely worth the view. Uh, not a whole lot to do here, but that's okay too because we like to come and relax. We took a nice little hike yesterday and uh, that was fine. I right, hope that picture is a little bit better. I'm still figuring out this camera. So anyway, uh, really love this love this location. It's and it's nice. It's it's what an hour an hour and a half, hour and a half from home. Uh, beautiful location, great place, great place to relax. Uh, if you need it, there is a shower house and, and a restroom uh, just across the way here. We typically don't use that stuff. Um, oh, update on the peanut brittle. It was good, and the reason I know it's good is because I went I went to take a picture of it and everybody ate it all, so it was gone. And uh, so the peanut butter came out good. What we need to do is put it in the 8x8 pan rather than the 9x13 pan. Because it did come out a little thin, but it still tasted great. It was, um, it was good. Uh, what else do we need to say about uh, this place, Therese? Did you tell them about the groups sites that they have? Oh, we found a really cool... Uh, group site around the corner. And I think I I think I did mention it earlier in the video. I'd have to go back, but there's one group site just down this road over here that it, it's like a pull through, and then inside that pull through are five back end spots. So it's 56 A, B, C, D, and E. Plenty of room. Now you can only do one at a time when you come in. But each site is about 60 feet deep, plenty of room, and then a great big common area that would be out in front. And uh, 
if you couldn't get with this meadow view that we have, let me show you what I'm looking at right now out of this window. See if that'll focus. So this is the window that... It, yeah, there it is right there. So that's my view. This thing right here is the window, the window frame. There we go. Whoop. So, yeah, I'm sitting here at the table just enjoying this absolutely marvelous view. I could probably just sit here all day and look at it. Uh, there's lots of frost out in the meadow right now. It's about 40, 42 degrees outside right now. Uh, plenty cold. I guess it, it, it got really cold last night. Cold enough to freeze the water. So, um, so the plan is I'm going to get under the trailer and undo the low point uh, drains. That way it'll drain on the way home. And at some point this morning we're going to get going. I don't know what point that is. Definitely not in a rush. We're just going to sit and enjoy our breakfast and coffee. And uh, so the only minus at this park is you really have no connectivity. And if you're coming out here to relax, that's that's fine. Uh, but, you know, one minute you'll have three bars, next minute you'll have no bars, then you'll have one bar. So we've tried to shoot some pictures out on Instagram. Whenever we see three bars pop up, we post real quick. Um, but it's it's real sketchy. Uh, you would think, and we're only a quarter mile away from the town of Trout Lake. And surely there's connectivity in Trout Lake. It's not a big town, but still, there's got to be some connectivity. It is 2019, after all. So you would think that they would have something. Uh, they do have internet at the office, um, but it doesn't extend out into the camp area or into the, um, the RV park. But absolutely a gorgeous place. So that would be really the only minus. Um... The only minus that that I would say, any minuses for you? The same. The yeah, just the connectivity. connectivity yeah. Other than that, this is a wonderful park. All right. Well, hey, we're gonna leave it at that. Um, you know the usual stuff. Give us a thumbs up if you like the video. Um, give us a thumbs down if you didn't like the video. Uh, but if you give us a thumbs down, leave us a comment below and let us know what you didn't like. And um, and then, uh, you know, share it with a friend. We're still trying to grow our community. And with that, we will see you, that's you, in the very next video. I'll be coming out, uh, you know, Mondays, uh, what, Sundays and uh, Wednesdays. So we'll see you in the next video. Have a great one.